Hi, Jeff Larson here with Napa Adventure Boot Camp. We are doing day 11 of the 12 days of Christmas. This is a challenge workout. I want you to time yourself to see how long it takes you to complete the, the workout. Uh, there's five exercises. And the name of the challenge is the five by five by 10. And what that means is you're gonna do five exercises, you're gonna do five reps of each exercise or five per side, and then you're gonna do 10 rounds of that. So we wanna time this circuit and see how long it takes you to complete 10 rounds, okay? So here are the exercises. Our basics, but very effective again. And as always, I'm timing you. I wanna see how fast you can do it, but with proper form. That's always the, the highest level, highest priority, okay? Obviously, if you can't do 10 rounds, then uh, just, uh, adjust how many rounds you do, make note of it, and then when you get done, email me your results. I'd like to see how you, how you do on this. Okay? And then we can always use it as a, as a benchmark for your fitness. All right? So uh, the first exercise is a push-up. We do five reps. Remember, it's five by five. So five push-ups. You're going to run five 25-yard shuttles. That's number two. So you're going to run 25 yards, sprint back 25 yards. That counts as one rep. Okay? Do that five times. You're going to come back. You're going to do a squat, thrust, and jump. And uh, I've already demonstrated, but here it is again. You're going to stand with your feet about hip width. Keep your back as straight as possible. Keep your knees and toes pointed. We're going to take our hands, touch the ground, kick out to a plank, back, jump, decelerate properly. Okay? You're going to do that. Low impact version of that is down, out, back, stand, low impact, and do five of those. Then you're going to do five plank rows per side, and that looks like this. So you're in your plank position, you're going to widen your stance or your feet because you're going to use your arms in this exercise. So you want your hands right under your shoulders, okay? Wrists are straight, elbows straight, push the ground away, get your hair line. Feet are wider than normal, and we pull up. One, one. Okay, that's your plank row, you're gonna do one on each side. You wanna limit the amount of hip movement as much as possible, you don't want, I'll show you a couple of things that I probably see. See the hips move side to side, or the hips come up, or they drop. So we want to keep that nice straight back. Notice I limited how much movement I had in my core. That's the goal, okay? And the last one's a squat jack. You're gonna start with your feet together, in the squat position, come up, do your jumping jack, and down. Watch how wide you go as well. Some people like to put their arms out in front, that's fine. You can also do this with the dumbbell. Always pick it up safely, get down. And that's your squat jack with the dumbbell. You're going to do five of those. Repeat that circuit ten times, record how how long it takes you to complete it, let me know how you do.